To talk more about this, let's bring in former assistant U.S. attorney David Katz joining from Los Angeles. David, let's talk more about Alan Weisselberg. This is the man who knows where every dollar goes within Mr. Trump's business world. How significant is it now that he's been granted immunity? Well, in a week of shocking developments, this is yet another stunner because here's someone who knows where all the bodies are buried, uh, financially speaking, and has worked for the Trump Organization for, I think, at least two decades. Um, so it's a very significant development. And the fact that he was given immunity uh, meant that he had to talk. And uh, he probably gave a lot of information and also a lot of documents to back them up and the testimony to make it clear how that uh, all fits together. Uh, regarding uh, Trump and the organization. Well, we don't know the extent of how far this goes beyond the Cohen investigation, but the, the bigger question, how might this fit within the broader investigation? Well, right. Once he has immunity, he has to talk. His only peril at that point is to lie. So it makes no sense, and I'm sure he has very good counsel, which has told him that you can't lie, you have to come clean, you have to think about your family, and you have to think about the truth. Um, and my point was that he probably knows an awful lot of helpful things about the Trump Organization in addition to uh, the payment to the, um, you know, to the uh, actress and uh, Stormy Daniels and how that was all treated and also the former Playboy model. So it's pretty devastating. He's also got the financial records and you add that to uh, Mr. Pecker from the uh, National Enquirer and one of his aides who were also given immunity. It's a very significant development. This is also the man who uh, did prepared the taxes, did the taxes, and uh, knows where the checks were going. So uh, certainly significant, to say the least. Uh, but look, uh, this was a week that began with bad news and ended with worse news for President Trump. Uh, let's take a look at all of the Trump loyalists that uh, have really been front and center these past few days. Paul Manafort, the former Trump campaign chairman, convicted Mr. Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, his guilty plea that left shockwaves. We've learned uh, the CEO of American Media, David Pecker, has been granted immunity and, of course, Alan Weisselberg, Mr. Trump's longtime and trusted CFO, uh, is this a sign that Mr. Trump's grip on loyalty, which he holds in high, high regard, uh, that it's weakening under the pressure of these investigations? Well, I think his grip has clearly loosened. He has all of these people who've uh, cooperated now. It is reminiscent of what happened to President Nixon when Nixon's campaign manager, and also Nixon's Mr. Fixit had both pleaded guilty. And of course, we all know the denouement. We know how that one came out. Nixon had to resign the presidency. All of these men work with Mr. Trump uh, in some form or fashion. How great of an extent do you feel President Trump is in legal jeopardy? Well, I think his assessment and his advisor's assessment is that he's been in considerable legal jeopardy. I think that's one reason why uh, Giuliani has spent a lot of time appealing to a base and to a public opinion, which is not really legal public opinion. If you talk to a lot of lawyers, this is not the legal strategy that they would have embarked on. But now Trump has gone down this road with Giuliani, and uh, he's kind of in it to the bitter end. David Katz, we appreciate your time and legal perspective on this. We'll keep in touch with you. Thank you.